Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard on this early, at least early for me, a, th a Wednesday morning. It's 8.30 in the morning currently, but I just watched the Orange County Tax Task Force live on YouTube out in Florida. It's 11.30 in the morning at the moment. Disney and Universal just released the, re or Disney and SeaWorld just released the reopening plans, and we're going to discuss them right now as uh, it's actually a phased reopening. Like I thought, they're going to open not all parks at the same time, but they're all, they're all going to open within the same week. They're going to open July 11th, Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom opening July 11th, then <laughs> July 15th will be Hollywood Studios and Epcot. Why they chose the two parks, uh, why they chose the order, I have no idea, but that is the order. I kind of like the order. My two favorite parks, Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom first. And then just four days later, Epcot and Hollywood Studios. I did mention there'll be cast previews and uh, soft openings beforehand, but they didn't mention any dates. So here are some of the um, screenshots I grabbed from the uh, while watching the Orange County Task Force. Some, a lot of the same stuff. Um, SeaWorld also did their presentation today. I have an article, uh, ThemeParkWizard.net. I'll link that in the description below if you want to read their reopening protocols there for June 11th. The SeaWorld and uh, Disney World have a lot of the same stuff going on here with the enhanced safety measures, the social distancing, the temperature checks about 100.4. If you have 100.4, uh, higher than 100.4, you'll be sent home. We'll have increased hand, sanitations, hand, san hand sanitizing stations. Um, for si specifically at SeaWorld, we'll have another entrance at every and exit. The entrance to every uh, exit and entry to attraction, to each attraction. I'm not sure if Disney World is going to do that, but they're going to have a lot more hand sanitizing just around. They'll have, uh, again, enhanced safety measures for their cast members as well as um, their guests, and make sure their cast members go through temperature checks and temperature screening as well. See, uh, the one thing Disney World wants to do that the other theme parks don't <laughs> seem to, or at least are, like, really f showing that they want to do, or really putting it, like, really putting a whole bunch of stuff out there, that is communication. They want to communicate to the cast members and the guests um, how important this stuff is. Like, for example, the, the social distancing squad, which is uh, over to the right at an engagement, uh, they've been. They are right currently at Disney Springs, where a whole bunch of Disney stores just open are opening today as well. So part of the second base of that, but they're at Disney Springs, and there'll be another social distancing squad will be implemented in the park to tell you to uh, again wear your face mask, wash your hands. But instead of just a like mom and dad strict scolding type of way, they'll do it um, in a very fun way. I mean, <laughs> dancing and singing, and it'll be really, really cool. And they want to do education and communication via signage and all that. And you'll get, again, <laughs> notifications on the app about telling you what to do and um, telling you to wear a face mask, telling you to wash your hands, and, and telling you, giving you all the protocols when you open up the app. Here's more of uh, the signage of about when you'll the signage of the when you'll be entering the park you'll see <laughs> this is a temperature screening you'll see a COVID-19 warning telling you <laughs> that even with all these safety measures in place you still can contract the virus which is very true you can still contract any virus you can't be 100% safe from any virus um, anywhere or any disease anywhere so that's what the, the, they'll see a signage telling you that oh uh, there's a signage saying that they'll face masks, temperature screenings, and physical distancing, physical distancing are required for entry, and only one party at a time um, on several things. More health and safety reminders. Um, um, signs are saying it helps us protect the magic. Again, more um, constant signs of wearing your face masks. Those will be required for ages guest three and, or guest three and up. Physical distancing, um, hand sanitizer. No single rider lines as you see at the um at the the red marking down there well contact lots of contact us payment google pay apple pay um and any others out there 
uh, mobile ordering is already a thing and they'll be highly encouraged. SeaWorld's very interesting actually, in which they actually will not be giving away park maps at the entrance. Disney World and Universal did not mention anything about that, but I did want to mention SeaWorld will not be giving away park maps, so it will just be on the app, which is very interesting. Can, it was something Disney was, at least Disneyland, was, is, was going towards anyway, not giving away park maps, so the fact that that's already have this could physically accelerate that you know, eliminating the park map from the park and m making you get the app if you want to see the where you are or just looking for maps throughout the park lastly we've seen this type of signage before at disney springs and even at shanghai disney this is um these are the there are two types of the social distancing um uh, markers one saying please wait here and then one saying, please stand behind that line. Um, people say this is confusing. And there's two different types of signs. I, I don't know. I mean, everyone can read English, right? So, I mean, it, it's. I feel like it's not that difficult um, to differentiate. Um, and the, they look kind of the same. <laughs> like, it's kind of the same shape. The Shanghai, it's kind of more drastic with the with the um one says one gives you like the picture of the the two people the the cross saying don't don't stand here and then no they give the same two pictures with the people saying stand here no so that i can see a little bit more confusing but i, I think i mean as long as you can read it seems pretty simple to me um but let me know what you guys think below about all these safety pro protocols especially the face masks um, on my Six Flags, for the Six Flags released their procedures yesterday, I posted the video and got quite a few comments about the face masks, about how people aren't going to wear them, and how people don't want to wear them. It is hot, especially in Valencia, it gets 100 degrees, in Florida it's hot and humid as well. So I'd definitely love to know what you guys think about these safety protocols and the face masks being required for both SeaWorld and Disney World Parks. We'll also, let me know in the comments where you'll be attending or going to uh, Disney World starting July 11th. Let me know, and have a fantastic day. Subscribe for more theme park updates.